Hello everyone, this is Chandan Jha and in this video I am going to explain general solution of sine and cosine. So for understanding general solution of sine and cosine, we need to understand the graph of cos and graph of sine and along with their domain and range. The graph of sine and cosine have been explained in one video titled graph of sine and cosine. The link has been given in the description, you can watch that. So based on these two graphs, I have made a chart here that cos x becomes 0. We can observe here that cos x is becoming 0 for pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 or they are negative multiple that is minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, basically all the odd multiples of pi by 2 and sin x becomes 0 for pi, 0, minus pi, 2 pi, minus 2 pi and so on. That means any integer multiple of pi. So thus we can write that cos x becomes 0 for odd multiple of pi by 2 that means when x will be odd multiple of pi by 2 the value of cos x becomes 0 and when x will be n pi any integer multiple of pi then sin x becomes 0. Now without any delay let us understand the general solution. Now if we consider sin theta is equals to sin x where we need to find out the general solution for theta in terms of x. Then this can be written as sin theta minus sin x equals to 0. Now for this we are going to use this formula that sin alpha plus minus sin beta will be equals to 2 times sin alpha plus minus beta by 2 multiplies cos alpha minus plus beta by 2 based on this sign. Now here we have sin theta minus sin x that is sin alpha minus sin beta form. Thus apply, after applying this formula we shall get this equation. Now we can observe that we are multiplying sin theta minus x by 2 cos theta plus x by 2 and 2 and after multiplying we are getting the result 0. So there are only two possibilities. Either sin theta minus x by 2 equals to 0 or cos theta plus x by 2 is equals to 0. And the value of sin for what it becomes 0 that is possible if sin n pi is equals to 0 just now we have discussed. Now if we compare these two equations then we get theta minus x by 2 is equals to n pi and after simplifying we get theta is equals to 2 n pi plus x. Here 2 n indicates one even number. So being one even number we can also write this general formula in this way theta is equals to 2 n pi plus minus 1 to the power 2n. Here minus 1 to the power 2n will produce a positive result because 2n is one even number and minus 1 to the power any even number will become plus 1. So therefore the sign will be sustained here. So 2n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power 2n multiplies x. Now come to this part. The value of cos becomes 0 for any odd multiple of pi by 2. So thus cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2 equals to 0. Now if we compare these two equations then we shall get theta plus x by 2 is equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. And after simplifying we shall get 2n plus 1 pi minus x. We can see 2n plus 1 is any odd number. Unlike here 2n is any even number and here it was plus. And here for odd number we are getting minus. So this one also can be in a simplified manner we can write 2n plus 1 pi plus minus 1 to the power 2n plus 1. So 2n plus 1 being one odd number and minus 1 to the power any odd number will produce a negative result. So thus this sign will also be sustained. Now if we combine these two equations so here 2n minus 1 to the power 2n 2n plus 1 minus 1 to the power 2n plus 1. So if it is any even number then minus 1 to the power even number and if it is any odd number then minus 1 to the power odd number. So the general solution of sine after combining these two equations can be written as theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n multiplies x where n is any integer. So here in, instead of 2n and 2n plus 1 I am directly writing n 
because if 2n that is even number if it is even then minus 1 to the power even if it is odd then minus 1 to the power odd so therefore by combining these two we can directly write down so for any integer n this will be written in this form so let us do an example find the general solution of 2 sin theta plus 1 so this equation can be rewritten as sin theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 and sin theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 means sin theta minus of sin pi by 6 pi by 6 means 30 degree so sin 30 is 1 by 2 therefore we can write minus sin pi by 6 and minus sin theta is sin of minus theta so sin of minus pi by 6 so sin theta is equals to sin x form therefore the general solution will be theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n into x here x is minus pi by 6 so here minus pi by 6 means minus 1 into pi by 6 so this can be simplified as n pi plus minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into pi by 6 because of this minus I am writing n plus 1 here otherwise we can complete the solution here also so this is the general solution for this equation for this theta if 2, then 2 sin theta plus 1 is equals to 0 then theta is n pi plus minus 1 to the power n plus 1 into pi by 6 this is very important concept for class 11 now let us proceed to the general solution of cosine for that let us consider cos theta is equals to cos x then this equation can be rewritten as cos theta minus cos x equals to 0 and we are going to utilize this formula cos alpha minus cos beta is 2 times sin alpha plus beta by 2 and 2 and sin alpha minus beta by 2 so after applying this formula we can write 2 times sin because here alpha is theta and beta is x therefore theta plus x by 2 and sin theta minus x by 2 here both the terms are sine so when we are multiplying these two terms these three terms and we are getting 0 so 2 can never become 0 so there are two possibilities so either sin theta plus x by 2 is equals to 0 or sin theta minus x by 2 is equals to 0 and we know the value of sin becomes 0 when the value of x becomes n pi so thus we can write theta plus x by 2 is equals to n pi here also we can write n pi why we are writing n pi because it is known to us that sin n pi always produce 0 just discussed in the beginning of the video or otherwise the video whose link has been given in the description you can watch that for explanation now if we simplify further we get theta is equals to 2 n pi minus x and for this one theta is equals to 2 n pi plus x so if you combine these two 2 n pi minus x 2 n pi plus x no doubt this is an even number and here once minus once plus so if you combine them we shall get theta is equals to 2 n pi plus minus x this is the general solution for cosine let us do an example so find the general solution of cos theta is equals to minus 1 by root 2 how to get this so cos theta is equals to minus 1 by root 2 means minus cos 45 degree that means minus cos pi by 4 45 in terms of radian pi by 4 now this can be written as cos theta is equals to cos of pi minus pi by 4 doubt let us see minus cos pi by 4 cos is producing minus cos pi by 4 that means it is in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant so if we proceed anti-clockwise let so first we shall reach to second quadrant so cos theta is equals to minus cos pi by 4 that means cos of pi minus pi by 4 because cos of pi minus pi by 4 will become minus cos pi by 4 because cos of 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta so in that way we are writing this if you have any doubt in this concept that how it is becoming negative or from minus cos pi by 4 we are directly writing this then you can watch the video titled why sine of minus x equals to minus sine x and why cos of minus x becomes cos x the link of that video has been given in the description 
Now let us proceed further. So cos theta becomes cos of pi minus pi by 4 is equals to cos 3 pi by 4 after simplifying this. Now cos theta is equals to cos x. Then the general solution will be 2n pi plus minus x. We have discussed. So 2n pi plus minus 3 pi by 4. That's all. Therefore, we can conclude general solution of sine is theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n into x. And general solution of cosine is theta is equals to 2n pi plus minus x. So thank you for watching. That's all for this video. Thanks a lot.